Now, how many times have you saw a monkey like this? Hey, how many times have you saw a monkey like that? But you know what it actually is? Can you see what it is? God's got a silver stick, a silver spoon in his mouth. <clears throat> you see the way it comes? I came here with a silver spoon in my mouth. Don't you see it? I'm sticking it out at everybody. I'm laughing at all the monkeys. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm still smoking. It's uh, 4.30 in the morning, 4.40. Since I changed my whole diet, I don't need to sleep as much as I used to. That's a bipolar trait. Um, but I am getting to sleep seven hours a day, seven, well, actually uh, between seven and nine, and I do take an afternoon nap for two hours, so uh, I guess I do get about ten hours a day. And But my mind is always relaxed, because all I'm doing is putting the house in order, and I repeat it all the time. Now listen to this news bulletin. Spermazoid, the killer of all. If you don't get rid of the daily sperm, if you're horny all day, right? You need to have sex with your wife. You must get rid of that sperm out of your body. It wants to do something. It builds. If it doesn't build in her, it's going to build in you. You must eliminate it. Now, if you have sex with a hooker or anything else in treason, because that's all treason, my friends, the trees, and you're in the tree of another house, okay? The trees are in. You don't enter into another house. When you're, excuse me, when your dickhead, okay, enters into a valley, now, if it knows it's covered in plastic, okay, it's going to think of one thing, because this whole system is a plastic system. That's one of the reasons for all this oil. It's a lot more than you think. This is all about plastic and copper, and about, there's a lot more elements included in it. But spermazoid, what happens when it gets into the woman, it goes into the egg, and it builds. Okay? It takes the egg, and it builds, and it uses the egg shell to create the head of the person and I'm not quite sure where the other part goes unless it's broken up the rest of the egg and using little pieces for your backbones you don't have to believe me but the sperm builds it's a creator so the prostate cancer I can't really explain the mustache and everything there's just so many things but prostate cancer has to do with you building okay and giving directives to your body of what you want so when your sperm knows you want to destroy, it's going to destroy inside of you. If you go have sex with somebody, it's going to cause an aid because they're aiding to destroy. Because your whole concept of what your life is about is to destroy. Now once we start having sex with everybody, well, that once that spermazoid starts to destroy, you're out of trouble. You've got to cut your two nuts off. That's the only thing I can tell you. Okay, if you start playing around and you get cancer, you've got to take your two nuts off. Okay, because that's what cancered you. But don't you know the white blood cell count? What color is the sperm? What color is the actual white blood cell? Check that white blood cell up against the sperm and see what you get. Okay. Now, obviously, you're going to say, yes, yes, I know, uh, because it's in the body. No, 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 you don't know. You don't understand the system. According to my book, the system works in a way, in a passionate way. It's always passionate. If you do bad, your body's going to do bad, because that's what you're teaching it. That's the way it works. God says love. It's not part of you. It's all of you or none of you. That's the way it works. Okay? You want to act like a monkey. You want to turn upside down. Now, God gave you a hand. If you have to go pay a hooker, didn't he give you a hand to do everything? Well, he gave you a right hand and a left hand. Oh, the left hand says it's wrong. So grab your right hand and go. If you've got to get rid of it, don't go to a hooker. You can't. You can't. It's just completely against the norm. Therefore, eventually, something in your life is going to be upset. And eventually in time, if it doesn't upset you, within a hundred years or a bicentennial, it will attack the family. That's how it works. It works all in quarterments of 25, and the total is 225, in which we never use the other 25. We only use 200 of the years. Out of the nine lives of the cat, okay, which should total 225, 25 we don't use. It's the passage of where we are. It's the five position, where we are. That's who we are, the R system. Look it up. That's us. That's what's happening in our brains. That's why all these kids are the way they are. In Liverpool, they gave them drugs back in the 60s, and that's why the Beatles knew everything they knew. They were able to beat the system in their mind by coming out in music. When you keep information inside your mind or you don't know what to say and it stays bottled up, it goes it works against you. But when you put it out on paper and you sing it, you're singing a lullaby of how you feel inside. 
Therefore, you're going to start discovering more and more and more in your existence. Once you pass 27, your existence is not the same. So they had to take him out because he was older than, was he older than 27? How old was John Lennon when they took him out? 1963, 1953, how old was he? Because 18 is the inception of the system R. So he had to be older than 18. Um, life is at 22, so they might be inflicting it at the age of 22 because 23 makes the creation, and by 24 it's inside of you. So then it can recreate, because at 25 we start having the kids. It's all increments of 25, this whole system. And then you can start taking off and adding. If you're playing tennis, you're adding on uh, 15 in the first points, 15 love, and then it's 30 love, so you're, so you're still loving. And then it's game love. Now the word game is God, angel, man in the e-world. That's what it is. And not only that, game is 7, 8, 21. Game is a total of 26. So the, so the actual uh, game, oh my God, game queen, it's not game king, king me. It's not game king, it's game queen. Game is 26 and queen is 62. Oh my God, 26, 62, 6, 22, 6. Oh my God, here it is. For all those who are wondering about the universe, what it is, 6226, game queen, not game king, because the queen is acting like the king, and we're all the queens on earth, which makes 6226, 26 is Z, and I don't know what this letter is yet, but it's actually ZZ, like ZZ Top and the Long Beards, ZZ Top and the Long Beards. Long beards, long beer. So um, if you don't understand what I'm saying, these numbers, if, if you know people to talk to about these numbers, these numbers are very relevant on this earth. And about that spermazoid, okay, if you don't check it out and get rid of it, the minute you're horny, right, and it starts to build up, it means it has to exit or it's going to start working in you. And you have to control it. It's okay, you can always control it. But it's better that it empties because your mind is always thinking different. It's your mind that gets you horny. It goes right down into your nuts, and it drives you nuts. It drives you crazy. Okay, so it's got to be eliminated or conquered. Now, the best, the best way to conquer it is to eliminate it. I've been able to conquer it, but I can also eliminate it. Because why build up pressure for no reason at all? How is your blood pressure after sex? Having sex between the blankets is I'm not even sure if that's right actually because you want to see who you're loving you don't want to make like it's in the basement and you're, you're having sex to the other world I think they switch something up in the Bible somewhere you see because it never says in the Ten Commandments that a girl has to sleep between a blanket it never said in the Ten Commandments we have to wear hats it said we have to respect our God it didn't say to wear his hat it didn't say anything about the Bible stuff nothing at all all this sex and everything, it's all, it's all misunderstood. 613 laws actually uh, might be another code for something else. And unless somebody asks me, and I'm asking you, please ask me, do not make me remember everything. If you need to know something, ask me. You're always going to get an answer. You will be satisfied because I'm going to give you one on the left and I'm going to give you one on the right. You just figure out the rest. It's all up to you. We're all individuals in this world. It's all up to all of us. And like I said in the earlier videos, I stand tall in everything, on everything. We're being fooled by machines that are created for us to tell us things. My blood pressure read 155 over 89 and my heartbeat was 80 and I felt like a million dollars. So if I drop dead in the next couple of days, well, que sera, sera, right? My videos will still live on. I'm going to make sure that there's somebody else. Somebody behind me and somebody behind whoever's behind me. Because we stand for the, is he, is she, is he. Okay? We stand for the Lord. And like I said, I'll put my life on the line for this whole thing. For this book I'm writing, I'm ready to put my life on the line for my words I speak. I speak only of the knowledge I figure I know. 
It's only the knowledge I calculate what it is to be. It's no more than a calculation, a mathematical calculation. Whatever I tell anybody, it's all calculated mathematically. And I have to shoot the numbers back and forth until I balance it out to understand it. But in all actuality, everything I say is only hypothetical. Now, when I'm talking about the sperm and stuff, you go check that out. Okay, it's a hot item, right? Sperm, a hot item? Isn't sperm a hot item? They need sperm banks now? What, are they short of people somewhere? You know what I'm saying? You can't get pregnant? Why? There's a reason for it. They want the sperm of somebody else to get inside of you. And it'll only work when it's in the right person. Now they're mixing and matching. That's what they do in the underworld. They change everything. We were made to be changed. It's our mind. It's all for the mind, don't forget. Once we know we can do it with the mind, we can take our bodies anywhere and be in any body. And we just aren't an anybody. We are a somebody, right? Isn't that what Mr. Muffler said? We're all a somebody? That's right. An any of a body, okay? An any or an antibody. An anybody, an antibody. An antibody, they show you, is to fight. But they're not fighting anything. They're preparing you for the future. Come, come, everybody. It's winter time. If you catch a cold, let me inject you. <laughs> oh, my God. I've never gone for... You know what? I don't show up at half my doctor's appointments because what I'm going to show up when they tell me to go. When I really have to go and the government pushes to me, I'll go. But when he starts sticking things in me, I check out his name, I check out his badge. My doctor signs out good. He's got a perfect name, my doctor. He told me I should be locked up for life. <laughs> I'm only kidding with you. Take care. This is the time of the spermazoid. <laughs>